What's going on guys? Proxima here. Welcome to my first impressions of Call of Duty Ghosts video, I, I guess is what we'll call it. Uh, so yeah, this is my very first game that I played of Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, it was Domination. I don't remember this map's name. I want to say it was Overlord or something like that. This is probably one of my favorite maps uh, in Ghosts. Um, but yeah, there was also this guy whining and crying the entire time in the background, and I'm not really sure what his deal was besides bitching and moaning about lag and just a bunch of stupid shit. He probably sucks at this game. That's, that's probably why he's, uh, why he's whining and crying the entire time. But anyways, so I actually like this Call of Duty. And uh, for anybody that knows me, uh, that's a pretty big thing. <laughs> uh, I haven't liked a Call of Duty since 4. Um, I mean, Black Ops 1 was good. Uh, if you didn't have anybody ever using any kill streaks, oh which was never, uh, they were just all overpowered to me. They've all been overpowered since Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion. Uh, the gameplay's been too fast. It's it's been too laggy. Uh, I mean, they still need to switch to dedicated servers. It's still one of my biggest. Uh, it's one of my biggest complaints still is the fact there's no dedicated servers. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, this is going to be the last Call of Duty, I'd imagine, um, on this gen. Maybe another one next year, depending on how much life is still left in the 360. I don't know. Uh, I also kind of want to throw out a little apology here. As you can probably see, my screen stretched. Uh, apparently, I had a recording error. Um, it decided to record in full screen instead of widescreen. My uh, rendering software does not accept full screen. It automatically takes it and converts it to widescreen. So that's... Um, that's why you're seeing it stretched out a little bit here. But, anyways, back to Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, they slowed down the gameplay a little bit. I mean, it's not like a huge dramatic slowdown, uh, but it's definitely noticeable and a lot better. And I don't think they necessarily intentionally slowed it down. More or less that it was the fact that these maps were made for 9 on 9 on next gen, and they're being used for, I believe this is 5 on 5 or 6 on 6 on current gen. So you just have less lanes that you can go down, or excuse me, you have more lanes you can go down and less of a clusterfuck all the time. Um, so I'm not sure if that was an intentional thing or if that's just the fact that these maps, again, were made uh, for 9-on-9 nine nine versus uh, either 5-on-5 five five or 6-on-6. Six six. I can't remember which one it is on current gen. Um, the classes are set up a lot nicer. I, I really like the new class setup and the new perk setup, the new, the new gun system. Um, if you guys didn't know, didn't hear about it, the new prestiging system is great. Um, instead of prestiging and losing absolutely everything oh that you had, God, you only... <laughs> there's that guy complaining this again. But clean, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Distracting. Anyway, in this game, uh, all you have to do when you prestige is you just lose your level. That's it. You don't lose any unlocks. You can unlock any gun. Uh, whatever at whatever level you want to um, and that's done by squad points different guns cost different squad points for example there's a gun that's like six squad points and you earn squad points through challenges and whatnot and also through leveling up um, I'm not sure if there are a set number as far as leveling up goes because I've I've seen three four <laughs> uh, squad points for a level um, sometimes I've seen seven or eight so I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's random, it has to do with the speed of which you leveled up or whatever, but whatever. Uh, leveling up was also slowed down a lot. Uh, usually within the first, I don't know, two hours, I would be near 20, especially when they had the double XP weekend this last weekend. Um, but um, I was, it was it was a lot more slow leveling, and, and I like that. So instead of just like super speed leveling, it's, it's pretty... It's a, uh, it's more realistic, quote unquote, more doable, um, stuff like that. I don't know. Um, that right there, that's the Juggernaut Maniac. Um, that's one of my two complaints uh, as far as kill streaks go. The Juggernaut Maniac and the gu Guard Dog, ridiculous. The Maniac you get 11 kills, so it's not as common, um, but it's still kind of ridiculous because if it's one on one, you're never gonna kill the bastard. You, your team's got to be smart, and everybody's got to start shooting at him if you want anything to happen to him. As far as the guard dog goes, it's a five kill kill streak, and this dog will kill your ass. He will maul you with his tail turned to you. He will maul you from like 50 feet away. If you guys remember Commando Pro from uh, Modern Warfare 2, just imagine that, but with a damn dog. That's some fucked up annoying bullshit is what that is. That dog is just fucking annoying. Um, a lot of people are big dicks about it. And they will literally hide in a really small place that you can't get to. 
and or excuse me that you can't you know see around the corners or whatever and you have to walk to that small place with their dog just sitting there and the dog will just maul them uh, the dog I swear to god takes a clip to take no, down if not more than that <laughs> and uh, that dog just absorbs bullets like there's no tomorrow um, and he just loves to live and if you die um, while you have your dog out assuming nobody kills him after he after they kill you, your dog will actually run back to you, uh, wherever you respawn at, and will maul down anybody between you and him on his way to you. And that's also kind of dumb to me. Um, on top of that, you've got, uh, as far as the dog goes, I mean, it's just kind of ridiculous. It doesn't go away on its own like a lot of other killer streaks do. It just, he just hangs out the entire time um, until he gets killed. And, I mean, some teams are good about it. Three, four people fire at the dog at the same time and get killed pretty quick. Other times, not so much, and somebody's got one dog the entire game, and it's just, Dude, just absurdly annoying. Like, um, just as far as guns go, spawn, uh, some of... <laughs> Listen to this guy. He's, he's like a comedian or some shit. He's really annoying. Um, but he's hilarious, too. I don't know how you'd be hilarious and annoying at the same time, but whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, I tried out a couple of shotguns. Um... And the shotguns don't work nearly as well as they have in the past. SMGs aren't as good as they were in the past either. Uh, you awful. can't completely you run and gun and be awesome with them anymore. Uh, you've got to actually think a little bit more tactical if you're going to run around with an SMG. Um, the game kind of centers around assault rifles now, it seems like. Uh, the marksman rifles are pretty nice. I don't mean to jump subjects there quickly, but uh, marksman rifles are pretty sweet. Um, they're, in, they're a mixture of sniper rifles and assault rifles. They're single shot weapons. There's four different ones to choose from. They come with like an ADEX scope, I believe, uh, stock. And um, they are pretty awesome if you can use them well. Um, if you've got a good trigger finger, you can definitely do some damage with those things up close and from uh, far away. Uh, there's no select fire this time, so you can't uh, just change from burst to single fire if you, because you can put burst fire. Before I jump too far ahead here, there's an attachment you can put on there for burst fire. You can put that on there, but you can't switch between single and burst, and it becomes pretty inaccurate if you're trying to use it at a range versus up close. Um, so that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind. Um, but as a whole, those things are absolutely great. The LMGs this go around are fantastic. Um, I was doing a lot of work with LMGs um, a few games after this one, um, calling in a guard dog, and I know I just complained about him, so I'm going to use him, right? You got to abuse the OP stuff until they nerf it, right? Um, but I was calling in guard dog after guard dog whenever it got killed. Um, it was pretty ridiculous. Cluster bombs are pretty ridiculous, too. I mean, they're pretty easy to avoid, but if you don't avoid them, they'll kill your whole team in, uh, in one little area. We're playing wideout or something like that, and there's a uh, domination on there. There's B, the B point. You throw a cluster bomb in there and the team's in there, uh, they're all going to die. <laughs> uh, plain and simple. But either way, the kill streaks are much better done. Uh, the kill streak system is that of Modern Warfare 3 in the sense of you have assault, support, and uh, specialist. Uh, they work the same way, but there's no overpowered kill streaks besides the guard dog and uh, kind of the juggernaut maniac. Um, I'm hoping the dog gets nerfed soon because, like I said, it's just annoying. Um, but yeah, the maps, they they're nice. The guns, they're really nice. I have no complaints about any of the guns this go around, and I've always complained about guns before in the past. Um, you can camp a little bit better now. I hate campers, but I, I do camp from time to time myself, as you can probably see here. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily call it more camping than I am just uh, hanging out trying to protect B and win the game, obviously. Um, there's a lot of complainers in this game because I guess they're used to the old Call of Duties like this guy that just won't shut up and just has to keep talking and complaining like anybody cares through the entire time <laughs> um, I'm not really sure if there's anything more than that really to talk about um, it seems less laggy to me but if you get into a laggy game it's uh, one of the worst things ever um, yeah they changed the zombies to aliens I like it a lot more because I'm not a zombie fan myself, uh, so that was definitely cool. I actually played it and without complaining, <laughs> and uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely my favorite maps here so far is this map and Whiteout. Um, they're two really balanced maps. They seem to be more balanced this go around than they were last time, or at least in uh, what was it, Black Ops One? No, no, Modern Warfare Three. Everybody had a distinct. Um, spawn and everything, and there was no such thing as one team having an advantage over another team, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I do thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.